Go on, Malik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Chris. A pleasure. Two two sets early on. Much love, my friend. No, I'm there. really glad I got to come. You got some good sets. That I can't lie. Good. Yeah, that yeah. Was good. Thanks for uh, you know Team Rain Gem for the opportunity. This uh, Malik right here is going to replace me. And uh, thank you and good night. <laughs> good off. Good afternoon, I should say. <laughs> I know you like to go to bed early. No, nah, well, you know. It's 1pm. <laughs> it's not bedtime yet. See you later, everyone. Malik's coming on. Welcome, welcome. And hello. Malik, good, good to have oh, you here. To All right, you. we've got two sets coming up to finish off this wave A. And okay, awesome, I, awesome. I don't know if you were just in the crowd there, seeing, Metro, seeing Metro cook it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I saw that jet hammer hit, and at the same time as it hit, I heard the sound of many, many bank accounts going into overdraft. <laughs> uh, oh, were there some bets on? I heard, maybe. Money changing from, hands? Uh, word on the street, yeah. where there was um, a fair amount of money on that set. The Scots were supporting. favoring the Scottish Rob, but it um, wasn't to be today, and Metro. Breaking the hearts of many who sought to earn some winnings, but yeah. not today. Oh, that's me. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. We got Malik coming on the commentary for. Uh, we got I think two more sets here, and it looks like yeah, Metro is going to be staying yeah, on be to play his uh, um, next winner set against. Uh, yeah, I believe. In <laughs> I'm not sure what. Sh oh, let's go with um, Siren. Yeah, forgive me. Yeah, should, Siren. Go, should he ch Siren change should the tag a little? Oh bit my sometimes. god, Rice too. It annoyed me so much because I was like, oh, who's this Siren guy? He's doing really good. I said that on stream, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then later I like walk past the stage to see him playing. I'm like, that's Shadik. I'm like, are oh, you little? <laughs> But yeah, obviously, Shalik, I feel like he doesn't even really need an introduction by this point. If you've been keeping track of the UK scene, he's like had some very, very high peaks. But even his troughs have still been like solid top five, top not top five, top ten UK, ten, uh, top fifteen like potential, right? Yeah. And so this is a this is an interesting draw because I feel like Siren has the capacity to like you know famously won was it like Tea Party like one of like the he other blue has won like, like, like has won big national events, mm -hmm. but again just has a little bit of that. Maybe in him to like we fall a little bit earlier in bracket than maybe you would hope. Whereas Metro is almost like the 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 worst matchup for that because Metro has the capacity to beat anyone. Absolutely. He's beaten like Cody Governor. He's, he's like taking sets off really good players in region. He's just made an upset there. Yeah, I remember uh, beating coming, Lumen. I remember coming one of his uh, first big regionals at right of the Rose. I think it was number five. I'm not sure though. Okay. Um, either way, uh, I, I played him online before, so it was really good. I was like, this guy's my dog. He make a really good run, and I believe he did. He got at least top A. I don't remember where exactly he placed, but he plays really well. That guy is a grinder. He is scarily good. Uh, I'm telling you, man, this kid played the top tier. Oh, it'll be over for the UK. But speaking Sweet. of top oh, tiers, yeah, Cyril not going on to his uh, DLC top tier, but for the regular Palu Tenor today. Not quite what I expected, but nah, I did not expect to see the England. Nah, that's crazy. Siren started off and was like, <laughs> fired three oracles. <laughs> With no response, and look, Metro is crazy. He's a really, really good player. He's also playing DD. Exactly. <laughs> so sometimes it's easier said than done. Uh, when you've got Siren, you can just pull out the laundry list of really strong characters. I remember the Inkling, the Aegis, got the Palo here as well, and untouched so far. I saw Greninja once upon a time, I don't like to talk about that one. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I, so far, honestly, I can, see the, I can see the rationale, I can see the idea behind his Palutena as opposed to the Aegis or the Inkling, because Aegis obviously busted really uh, strong nice hitbox. There's not so much in like very far range outside of that sword to keep you out, though. Inkling, uh, mid tier, enough said. But <laughs> Alu, using this auto reticle in this enclosed lane so far, really frustrated Metro. I don't even get 57%. Might Wait, be all he needs. Super? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a bit of a knowledge check there. Sometimes you just have to, yeah, yeah, you just yeah. have to weigh it out if you're going to get. Uh, yeah. You're in danger of the cheese gorda set up into the jet hammer, but yeah. 170 on uh, Metro. Yeah. And we good saw punch. in that previous set, Metro 170, he basically took three stocks with that. But not quite as good this uh, so far this game. Yeah, that was a really, it was a really good match. But if, anyone, if anyone's going to pass those knowledge checks, it should eat. Like, this guy is really, really experienced in the game, played it so often. Uh, very established player, but a little bit this. But yeah, trying to get these extra credits uh, pinging on right now. Not too much of it. Um, so I kind of rate this from Simon. He's like, you know, no, no, no. This is kind of you pick, you pick DDD. You mm -hmm. brought this upon yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm gonna pick Paolo, and I feel like Paolo again is like one of those really consistent top tiers. Generally speaking, like, kind of like you almost consider like she's like the garbage lady. Like, she's taken out the trash, you know. Like, just deals with so many uh, low tiers. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely, definitely true. And again, I can see like without without uh, having something like auto rescue this close to flame, you'd have to go and challenge Gordo with Mithra Sword and Pyro Sword, which like is definitely doable. Uh, very much a top tier in their own right, but auto is just that bit more, just that bit safer. Just hits yeah. it right back at them. Don't have to deal with any of it. Maybe even a harder matchup, honestly. Ooh, yeah, I love that actually. The reverse, reverse there. Yeah, yeah. Catching the corner to jump out, shoot after dashing into it. Really, <clears throat> really good conditioning. Excuse me. Uh, from Siren there, back to the ledge. Yeah, the ledge tilt. trap. Yeah, gets the edge just in time. Armors through. Got another ledge trap. Siren's sort of answered a lot of the ledge trap questions for you in the parry. Yeah. 
is enough to down tilt. <laughs> Metro's got 150. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. That hit. Uh, 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 huh? <laughs> I had to blink. I, I don't know. He should be dead here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the move that ever smash back on Angel Platform, you know. You throw it out, you've got iframes. So what's going to happen? You're going to hit, hit with a Gordo? Oh no. This is a, a tough ask here. Siren, Siren playing this matchup as you should, you know, just kind of waiting for the moment. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not, we're going to play neutral on my terms, and then when I hit you, you're stuck in the washing machine for a while. Yeah, just suffocating Metro out of this neutral. Oh. Hopefully, finding the angles in. That is a nice conversion, though. Is that even starting to swing the game back? Oh, yeah, I stuck the armor there. That's decent damage! Yeah. Dash attack! <laughs> That is the Metro That's classic. Attack. And there we go, Metro. Looks like he's starting to find some habits that maybe Siren is giving away a little bit too easily here. If he's not careful, this game could slip through his fingers, but still firmly in the driver's seat here. 85% to his name so far, that Gordo. Not gonna get any work done, but this is where the string comes to work. Nothing uh, giving Metro just yet. Metro building confidence, but confidence is one thing. Oh, the last Siren is beautiful. Looking confident uh, in his own right. If you got that jump read, that was really, really impressive. Goes for the oh, God, That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, Metro. Yeah. <laughs> a little spook there from Metro. Like, I was, I was picking it back. Yeah, I, I was cooking a little bit. Yeah, I expected, I expected the back throw down, and assuming Metro did too. You know, back to ledge. That's kind of how it is. It probably wouldn't have killed, but it would have given ledge. Goes for the down throw, mixes up the DI, gets the platform tech chase, and look for a jump afterwards. If that was a jump out. I, I probably would have popped off. It would have been such an amazing, <laughs> like, patient advantage thing. Yeah, I loved it. Would have been cooking, but yeah, we see. Yeah, we kind of see elements to both players where it's like mm. Sirens like just look so composed and Absolutely. so efficient and r ruthless almost. Mm -hmm. and just the way you can take a... So intimidating, he takes on both parts of the screen. Just the, it's crazy. just the way, just standing perfectly still and just being like, just asking the question of like, no, 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 you come to yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. You play on my terms. DDD is the one who has to take initiative in this matchup. And That's right now, Metro hasn't yeah. been able to do it. Cal's going to give a bit more space to do so. I think I like this stage pick. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's the winter, I think I like it. Yeah, I think uh, Metro... He's a big boy, wants to live for a long time, and I guess Kalos Absolutely. is that, so... There we go. You see, but then a lot of space here for mm. Siren to move around. Yeah, really important thing in that first interaction there. Metro, like, showed that he can actually play around auto reticle, and it's not... It means that Siren has to think a little bit rather than just throwing it out. You can't just mash it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's not just going to mash Gordo that you can reflect it back. He is going to start dash shielding and getting some shield grabs. Of course, Siren had the punish laid up right there, but that can mean a lot for the rest of the set here. Yeah, we saw moments in that last game when Metro was building some momentum, so... Oh, tell you what! Oh my god, that was scary. Yeah, and it's kind of an awkward ask here to ask DDD to... Okay, that was interesting. Kind of an awkward task for DDD to try and, like, burst option his way through Palu's areas, but Metro's making it work, making it happen right now. This is what happens when you're a character specialist. You just sort of know all the things that your character can do that other players might necessarily uh, have available to them. Oh, oh god, oh, yeah, just... just I guess he had no jumps. Yeah, yeah. the resources yeah, 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 just, yeah, just the Siren just ruthless in terms of just keeping Metro on stage there. And yeah, that's the thing about DDD and, and Metro in particular. He, he is, <laughs> we were saying before in the previous set, almost like a technical DDD. Yeah. Which you wouldn't normally associate with DDD, but the Metro this has that. Oh no. my gosh, that air dodge. You nearly ended up on Yeet Smash. I'm sorry. That's, that was yeah. scary. But, uh, yeah, this is this is the position that Siren held for so much of game one, where he's so, so comfortable. He has just has such a full lead, and Metro's wanted to take all the initiative, even more so now that he has a lead. You see there, si <laughs> Siren just, again, just play, trying to make it play on his terms, where it's like, no, Metro, you come to me, but it's uh, easier said than done. And he just has to hold out, but, you know. I had the coverage there, like, Siren's clinical so far. There's not even that much to say about it, really. Yeah. And this is actually kind of like the story of sometimes Metro's tournament runs, where I think he just has the capacity to get quite far in bracket, but as soon as you find someone who can just work through the, the limitations of DDD. I've seen it all before. It's a tough ask, yeah. Yeah, and sadly, unlike the case of a lot of uh, mid tiers, low. Oh, oh no my way. You god. Oh my god, that was almost destruction. I had yeah. to wait to see if destruction was <laughs> coming after all. Um, Maybe I'm just going to hold that forward to get past this ledge trap. Gordo provides a lot of coverage here. Now the damage can start to rack up, but Metro can't really find much more than those stray hits, and he does need more than those stray hits when he's at this much of a deficit. It's just so hard to penetrate this neutral. Yeah, we saw in the previous game, Metro doing well to sort of what looked like a pretty unwinnable game, but brought it back. I think last stop towards the end, but tough ass to do it twice in a row and finish the game as well. But yeah, look at that. Yeah. Great call out the jump there. Yeah. Metro playing ledge well, though. It's not even really a Metro thing anymore. Cyrus has to figure him out right now, just out neutrally in mean, so many interactions. That's oh, going to hit. Armor saves him. It's damage. Okay. It's damage on the last 150. I mean, it is still the axe to kill DDD, but 
weekend. Where it feels like a case of uh, when, not if here. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Game. Couldn't have phrased it better because, like. Oh, tell you what. Oh, 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 that's there. Goodbye. Yeah. Kill screen. He's not fake. Even on Kalos, no, no. yeah, 160. One of the stronger back throws in the game. Um, but yeah, like I was saying. Usually the benefit you get of playing a low to mid tier is that they're a bit of an obscure matchup and you can you can check a lot of people. Yeah. Because yeah. like it's who, the, who the hell plays these like random ass low tiers? Like who's play, who's out here really like actually trying to push the Dr. Mario meta? Mm. You know? Like in the UK I can think of local GP and he plays Hero more anyway. So yeah. like you know. Anyway. We have sadly, some GPs though, right? Sad, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say UK, yeah. sadly well, I mean I'm just trying to be like, I'll try and be <laughs> Sadly when you're playing King DDD, you don't have that privilege. Because no. if there's any uh, loads of mid-tier that you guys experience it, it is King DDD. We obviously have the Peli Penguin, you know where the tag originally comes from. We have Trondle still cooking on that character. That is crazy. We've got this obscure low tier that just isn't obscure <laughs> in terms of the UK. Yeah, it kind of sucks better, honestly. But yeah, we're seeing, and again, someone who's maybe less of a direct character specialist, someone like Siren. I think to play a lot of characters at a high level, you need to basically understand so many different matchups and understand how so many different characters work. Um, to be able to sort of know the counterplay with more Absolutely. than one character. So it feels like the, the shenanigans and the, the little tricks that Vectro has, Siren will be ready. I'm sure that, that so said, far I wasn't ready for that. That being said, Vectro is figuring some things out here. His advantage that I'm noticing is actually getting substantially good. Maybe he's trying to figure out a disadvantage. Starting to find his way past these zoning tools and Metro looking to make give us a bit more of a competitive set here because so far it's been all Siren, all set. I can't lie, it felt like a little bit of complacency from Siren just to start that first game. It's like it won the, the previous two games pretty convincingly. Yeah. Metro, do not count Metro out. Yeah, and of course, now that DDD oh has the gosh. lead, it's a whole different story. Now it's Palu who has to start trying to make things happen. It's DDD who can try and like be a bit more risky on these ledge traps. Can he get past this? Oh, oh now it's it though. Yes, he can. Back throw. This is where DDD can really cook when he has this corner pressure. Gordo, set up. I like the patient oh. option. Almost <laughs> had the re grab punish there. Metro is cooking right now. Let's see. Kind of Siren put out the fire. Yeah, the ledge trap situation. <laughs> Been working so well for Metro previously, but. Ooh, looking for Joker to turn that down smash. It's the nature of playing on this. Oh, okay, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> this isn't Joker. <laughs> but now it's for Siren to sort of ask the questions now, of course. Look at that. Very Almost cool. killing with. Oh yeah, my god! Edge guard. Once again, a lot of players, they don't really want to bother trying to edge guard Palutena because she's the teleport recovery. What are you going to do? But if Siren's going to try and skip less trapping by throwing out these projectiles, these explosive flames, then of course he's going to edge guard you. Really good stuff here from Metro. Good awareness. What a really solid lead. And these leads as heavies count extra. But it's just so hard to kill. Metro leads so well here. And of course, again, a full two stocks lead here. This is all for Siren to put yeah. in the word, but. Finally cleans up that first stop. Eventually. Yeah, I don't think he ever got his left into the to be back. So Metro is in a bit of a rough spot. Yeah. Oh, maybe the combo again, just not quite extended as long as Siren wants to do. And again, it's, <laughs> it's a case of just trying to <laughs> finish your foods. Siren's 2 0 up, and I do think a little bit of complacency slipped in. Ooh, Metro. Yeah. I feel like you, I don't necessarily hate going for those like more risky options, but I feel like you want to save those for. Get to a game four, game five situation because right now you still got a long road ahead of you. If you want to take this set back, Metro, you've got to stay calm. Again, one game through. at a time, yeah. but I do, I do feel like Metro's figuring out some stuff in just the way that yeah. Siren's trying to like move around stage and just play neutral a little bit. Yeah, I actually just wanted to highlight really big credit to Metro figuring out these zones with an auto reticle and explosive flame because I'm, I'm going to be frank, game one he looked lost mm. on how to deal with stuff like explosive flame and auto reticle just beating back his Gordo, but now he's actually finding his way through. And Siren has to think a lot more about uh, when to pull out those options. Oh. Regrab re again. Yeah. Oh, it just goes high. Kind of yolos it a little bit. And only gets grabbed. So honestly, not the worst that could have come out of that situation. The well, ledge again. <laughs> Siren just wants one yeah. thing. Metro. That down smash. Metro knows he has a lot of jumps here, so he can just wait out these down smashes. Really good awareness from Metro again. Looks for the jump. Almost <laughs> guided around the explosive flame, but oh. bit too much for Shanique. And with a two stock, we have a set on our hands. Yeah, it felt like uh, I would have been impressed to last game if Metro takes a match, but. On the board. Yeah. On the board. On the board, for sure. And I feel like I, I would not expect, to be honest, a, a character switch. I might be wrong, but I think um, Siren, sh Siren Shown. Probable. I think Siren Shown is the right pick. Yeah. yeah. He definitely had, like I said, it's not, that it does, it's not that it does that much better than his other characters, but it's much easier to play than his other characters, mm. I would say, in this matchup. I, I would much rather sit back and be spamming, uh, spamming my B button with Palutena than trying to figure out how to like precisely get his Gordo back as ages or anything. Yeah, we saw in those first two games as well, Siren really proficient with the kind of general advantage state, just, as I said, putting his lender. 
And what I will say for Metro, that game was a very encouraging way to win because it's not like he just. Ooh, oh, quite, big damage. Why are you at six? Big damage. If I step back out, I don't think he has jump. Oh my god. Those ledge, Jet Hammer. Okay, Metro. Staying a little bit risky, but he has a very oh, big game already. But this is where he can just get snapped right the back. It's, in. A, it's the infinite reverse washing machine. Living longer with Calgon, but Metro certainly isn't as he gets chased down even further in this advantage state. Let's jump here for Siren. Finds the back air. Crowd's coming alive a little bit, realizing Metro is starting to find his way back into this set, but into this game, he might need a little bit more support. Because Siren now just once again beating him back with these projectiles. Metro showing you no know, space around it. But Siren calling out the dash shield. Adaptation starting to go uh, both ways here. Yeah, and Siren has to, of course, saw the errors of not finishing his food in previous games. Barely leaves that time, Metro, 165. He won't get another. Go. All oh, the air dodge as well. True that time. Oh, oh really yeah, good cool. stuff, really yeah. good stuff there. Mitchell back air, Metro on the head. You've got to give it up. That was just a good call out by uh, uh, Siren. It's the, uh, the sort of yin and yang of DDD. So good at ledge trapping, but on the ledge himself, it's like there are some mix-ups, but the opponent's ready. Easy said than done. And a bit of a YOLO dash tag there. I kind of respect yeah. that, but up till, yeah, okay, yeah, up till on the board. The crowd's getting hyped for it. One of the closer games I've had, and why was, uh, maybe just that I had the time to say, it was an encouraging way to win that game free because it's not like he just cheesed in with DDD for like a few stocks. He was consistently outpacing Siren in neutral, and that's the kind of way you need to get back into sets. It's not cheese. Cheese comes in the later games. In those early sets, you need to be able to consistently outplay your opponent like oh, Siren is doing right now. My goodness. I wonder if there's a slight DI error there from, from Metro. Just it felt like even killing DDD after the hit sub 9 or no, sub 100. No rage. It's scary, he yeah, with no rage. Yeah, now this is a. Much tougher ask here for Metro. You know, played so well with the lead that previous game. Got a full oh, stop so much damage. to make up the percent rise of the Yeah, Siren so woken up a little bit. That game feels the wake up all he needed, and he's answering it. These ledge traps and these down this uses of down to a ledge is so so good. Oh There's gosh, the read on the air yeah. dodge. Metro running out of options, running out of time. Any complacency from Siren has completely slipped away. It and is. it was a matter of time at the end of the day. Yeah, Siren, great stuff to Metro. Getting a game on the board, but Siren, clinical, finishing it. Three to one. Yep. A shout out to, to, to uh, Metro. Metro's fans coming in just in time. Yeah, just in time to, to, see, to see, him lose. see him lose. But as I said, a, a, a game on the board. You know, I know we don't, I don't want to be too condescending with that. I think that is like a, no, that is impressive. You know, in that matchup, that caliber of player. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, we're seeing why people are investing in Metro stocks. If only he didn't play DDD. Honestly, honestly. Like, uh, I what I was going to say is Metro is kind of like a dark horse up and comer. Like, he can kind of beat anyone. Shanique eats those players for, well, Siren, I should say, excuse me, eats those players for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he thrives off those players. It's like, if you're up and coming, you've up and arrived. 